Hi YouTube, we have here the flash tool for the um, Sony Xperia SGP321, the LTE variant of um, the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. And what we have to do is to start the flash tool, um, put on the flash, then um, select flash mode. After we select flash mode, um, we have to select the firmware. Here we take an unbranded firmware so that um, we can root the firmware after we played it in um, you can root it and update but later then you have to exclude TA, TA is where the um, DRM keys are stored so um, that you don't flash away your uh, DRM keys for Sony Bravia engine and um, after that we press flash this may take a couple of uh, minutes We have to um, connect the device, you have to uh, press the volume down button and connect the micro USB cable and your flash tool will detect your Sony Xperia SGP321. Now it is flashing the files. All your data will be wiped. Um, but I think it's a problem because you do it after you bought the um, uh, Sony Xperia tablet set. The first start may take a little bit longer. Just disconnect your cable, your USB cable, and then press the start button. Um, it looks like something like a boot loop, but there's no problem. Everything worked all right. <laughs> if you <laughs> knew your um, display of the Z1, you know, Z is a little bit touchy, very, very touchy. After we started, the downgrade is complete and we have a firmware which we can root. Um, we have to set up some things in... Um, Yes, some settings uh, like USB debugging and uh, unknown uh, software. I don't know the exact um, word for this, but you will find it. And here is a long, long, long start, which looks like a boot loop. If you're bored of uh, starting, you can look at the Play Store for Otakeeper. Otakeeper is a tool we can protect root with so that we can update and uh, keep root after we made a OTA update. Yes, <laughs> just started. Uh, we have to go to settings. Um, then we take. I have to watch the video while I'm uh, saying it. Um, yes, developer options. If you don't find developer options, press um, under the um, press on the build number. Okay, it is activated. Press build number seven times. Uh, then security, um, unknown location. I don't know um, that you can get um, apps that are not from the App Store. Now we have to connect our tablet to the computer again. Computer ist die 
Now you um, can install PC Companion, this is Sony software. If you already have it, you have the USB drivers and everything is okay. If you don't have it, just install it. Your computer will detect your um, your um, tablet. Uh, now you close your flash tool. Um, maybe a restart will make it a little bit smarter than it uh, was with my computer. Yes, this is software. If the Android debug bridge server is open, um, it is used in the Flash tool. You have to kill it from the task manager. Um, if you don't want to use it, just wait. It works. It detects the right, right rootable firmware. And um, yes, find some exploit, copy your options. Okay, there's the Android debug bridge, uh, bridge the server. Out of date, it's killing and starting and killing and starting, but it is working. Um, after restart, it's much faster. Okay, then press one button and your uh, tablet will restart and it is rooted. Um, to start now is a little bit faster. Okay, here's a super user file um, or app. So we have super user privileges and um, an unbranded tablet. Now we have to find Ota Keeper. It is free. It works on uh, every Android version expect 4.3. Just install it. Yes, we started. Now uh, we have to grant super user rights. Um, if you are too fast, you have to shut it down from the task manager. Um, now press protect root. Okay, everything is okay. Now you can make an OTA update without losing root. It is very easy. Now look for updates. Don't do it with your computer because the computer will flash the whole firmware and delete your protected super user files. Do it with an over the air update. Now it's loading and loading and loading and loading and loading and loading and loading. After you will, okay, no wireless connection, but this is no problem. I hope it will connect in a couple of minutes. Yes, I um, wiped it with the downgrade and now I have to connect again. Okay, there's the um, software we have to download it. Sony is very, very, very slow. Um, I check my data volume, high speed data volume, because I'm downloading it over the air, but it's only 40 megabyte and the card is uh, 4 gigabyte, so it's <laughs> no problem. Or maybe 90 megabyte, I don't know exactly. Okay, it's waiting for network. After we updated it, our device is on the um, latest Xperia Tablet Z firmware and you have super user rights. Um, now I'm deleting such crappy Sony apps. Maybe they're not crappy, but I don't use them. File Explorer, your tablet is rooted. Have fun!